Dr. Ronald Lett from the Canadian Network for International Surgery. This is lesson two on our series on minor surgery. You've learned about instruments. Now we're going to learn about sutures. Sutures are necessary to close lacerations which result from trauma or result from your minor surgical procedures. Sutures have needles and they have suture material. Needles are curved or straight, cutting or taper, free or swedged. Suture material varies in size and has properties of being absorbable or non-absorbable or monofilament or braided. There are thousands of types of sutures, but we are going to focus on ones that are useful in minor surgery. Needles. Needles can be curved. Needles can be straight. The curved needle is the most common one we use. Needles also can be cutting, which is good for going through tough tissue, or taper, which is good for going through softer tissue. If you look on the package, the cutting sutures have a triangle indicating that it is cutting. The taper needles have a circle which indicates that it's taper. This helps you not open suture material, which is expensive, before you know what's in it. You also actually see a picture of the needle that is inside. Needles can be free with an eye so that you can thread them to attach suture material, or more commonly the commercial needles are swedged where the suture material is attached commercially. Suture material. Size. We will use in minor surgery the largest suture 2-0 and the smallest 4-0. Counterintuitively, the smaller the number, the larger the suture. So 2-0 is larger than 3-0, which is larger than 4-0. The properties of the suture. It can be absorbable or non-absorbable. Absorbable suture is useful in children because you don't have to remove the suture material later. It can be monofilament or braided. Monofilament is less reactive but harder to tie and tends to be more expensive. Braided suture is easier to tie but more reactive and is cheaper. So when you are making decisions about suture material, you need to look at the needles and the suture material to make a decision. You also need to look at what's available in your institution and how expensive a particular suture will be. Thank you for watching and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and be sure to subscribe and like us on YouTube. If you would like more information about CNIS or on how to become our member, please go to www.cnis.ca.